yesterday or two days ago, I had you guys um, write directions on how to get from your house or your grandmother's house, somebody's house, to the school. Uh, I gave you an example of how I would write it. So I'm going to read through the paragraph. Um, to get from my classroom to my truck, it's easy as one, two, three. First, you walk out into the hallway and take a left to the stairs. Go down four flights of stairs and enter the hallway, taking a left. Then you walk out the doors, following the sidewalk out towards the street. Take another left and walk about 20 steps. You are standing by my truck. You have gone from my classroom to my truck. You guys know me. You know the classroom. What would happen if I just gave this piece of paper to a random student down on the first floor. Would they know where my classroom is? Maybe not. What about if I went to High V and said, here you go, here's directions to a random person. Would they know what my truck looks like? They wouldn't know where my truck looks like. Would they know where I'm teaching at? No. No. So I've given information, but I haven't given information for any audience. So I need to rethink how I'm going to give my directions change to where anybody could follow them. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do some edits. I have, I have a pretty good start, but I want to just make it more clear for other people. So to get from my classroom, I'm looking at that and I think my classroom, anybody knows who I am, but they don't. So how about to get from more descriptive? Yeah. It is my classroom, but I'm telling what my name is. So now they know who I am. But where's my classroom located at? Of the fourth floor of what's this whole building called? What's the name of the school? Hickok High School. So to get to Mrs. to get from Mrs. Hanlon's classroom, number four twenty-seven at Hickok High School. you exactly where my room is on the fourth floor. To my truck. What's my truck? It's white. Are there does anybody else have a white F one fifty around here? tell you that there's a teacher here at this school that has one almost identical to mine. Right? So I'm not going to just put my F4 truck or my white F154 truck. How about my instead of truck, let's put my white F150 truck with license plate. Anybody happen to know what my license plate is? No. I'm going to make this really easy. It's a personal plate and it says Amy. So that just Amy. Okay? So do you think that Mr. Fernetti's 
license plate's going to say Amy on it? No. I hope not. Then there'll be a problem. There, there would be a problem, wouldn't there? Wouldn't there? Okay. So now I really got a lot of information in my first topic sentence, don't I? Yeah. So now I changed it to say, this information was good for people that know me. But I'm expanding my audience to people that might not know me. So it says you get from Mrs. Hanlon's classroom, number 427 at Keokuk High School, to my truck, to my white F-150 Ford truck with license plate Amy, as easy as one, two, three. What does this mean? should it only takes three steps as we read through it it takes more than three steps um how long have you known how to count to three a long time right is it something that you forget can you learn it when you're three and forget it when you're 12 something that comes to you very easily it's not something that you have to keep practicing to keep right so Lake, you copied that in yours. This was my paragraph, and you copied that. So I need you to try to come up with some ones of your own, okay? Um, first, you walk out into the hallway. descriptive. Remember those list of words that we had? The directional words? What's a directional word that we could use instead of left? What are directional words that you use on a map? Oh, left. North, south, east, and west? Yeah. Okay, so if that is north, Okay, and this is south. If I go this way, which way am I going? East. So I tell them to head east. Could I tell somebody to head east? Would it be the same thing? Okay, so I replaced left. Head east to the stairs. I told him to go down four flights of stairs. You can't go up, can you? And enter the hallway taking a left. Are you going to, do you want to change every left for east? Or do you want to mix it up a little bit? You don't want to keep repeating yourself. Then you walk out the doors. What, what are the doors? What's the sign that's over the top of the doors? It's a four-letter word. Exit. Exit. Could I say, then you proceed out the exit yeah. instead of doors? And I'm going to use the word proceed instead of walk. Proceed means go forward, continue doing it. Following the sidewalk out towards the street. Take, here's this word take, another left. What can we say instead of take? Good job. We could turn. We're going to turn towards the, because we're walking this 
way. So what direction are we turning towards? And walk about 20 steps. You are standing by my truck. I've described my truck up here already. Okay, so if I say truck, do they have a visual already? Yeah. So can I use the word truck? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You have gone from my classroom to my truck. Was that what I was trying to do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is what I was trying to do. Okay. So things that I want you guys make it more descriptive. Use different words when you're giving your um, directions. The other thing is, do you know the street names? No. Not some of them. You don't know some of them. Okay. So, if I don't know the street names, or all the street names, this is something I might do. So I'm going to give you an example. And you guys will be able to get on the Kunos or the laptop, and, and we'll even probably use my laptop. to get on MapQuest. Do you remember doing this the other day, Blake? Did I show you? It says to find places. Okay. Here's a map of Keokuk. And I'm going to find a place. This place that I'm going to find is Anybody know what this place is? Anybody have a clue? It is a Kika High School. You are absolutely right. what it has on here. So here's where the school is located. Let's say I lived on Hickory Terrace. Okay, I'm going to write my address to get from my house at 1213 Hickory Terrace. I'm going to walk out my front door and head east towards, what's this road? Towards Bennell Road. When I get to the intersection of Hickory Terrace and Middle Road, I will head south for how many blocks? Well, here's a block. Two is what it looks like, right? Okay. Um, if I'm at another point in town, and I'm over here on Franklin Street, and I'm going to head out this way, I'm going to give directions. I'm going to head towards Fulton. I'm going to head towards High Street, which is three blocks. So I'm going to walk southwest one, two, three blocks until I get to High Street. Okay, at High Street, I'm going to turn north 
west until I get to Plank Road, which is approximately one block. Okay? So you're going to find ways to be more descriptive and detailed in your directions in case it's somebody that doesn't even know you. Okay? So you guys can go ahead and get started on that. And I'll come around and help you look for those descriptions. You'll want to get a Kuno, a laptop. Um, her name is back there at the computer. Um, or we'll use my laptop. I wouldn't all move at once, I, but I'd move right now. Then we'll come back to helping them individually. There's a laptop on top. 